Tom Lee Iridium. Hope you're doing all right today. David Rees and Utopia. Now, don't know a lot about David Rees. Um, obviously, he's got a, a history, which I'll go through in a minute. But before I heard this album, didn't know a lot about him. But this was out on October the 29th on Pure Toe Records. 13 tracks. Um, David Rees is an American uh, singer. Um, and he's, like I said, I'm going to go through the history a bit. He's done uh, some vocals for Bonfire and probably most famously Accept. Um, he was on one album called Eat the Heat in 1989. I know that's not a, if you like, a well-loved album by Accept fans, but I think the main reason for that um, is that it seems to not sound like Accept. And this is only what I've heard from reviews and stuff like that, which I looked into after hearing this album. But I've heard it's a great album as well, but mainly doesn't sound a bit like Except. Unless you've got a singer that sings like Udo, which Except sort of have now, it's not going to sound like Except. It's probably going to sound like a different band. But I'm, I'm actually really interested to hear that album, to hear what it sounds like. I will actually give it a go. Um, so this is a really interesting album. Um, but before I run in through track by track, I'm going to tell you who's also playing on this album. Obviously, you've got David Reese on the vocals. You've got Andy Sussmill on the guitars, Malt Frederick Burkert on the bass, and you've got Francesco Giovino on the drums. These names don't get any easier, do they? So, like I said, very interesting album, and it's all in the hard rock stroke metal vein. Um, but they do so many different, so much different stuff on this album. I found it a really, really interesting listen. And you'll find that as I go through track by track. Let me say David Reese as well has got a great vocal. And one thing I noticed about him is the way he sings and um, actually pronounces every word. It's a lot better than my pronunciation, put it that way. But you can literally hear every word he sings. He's so clear on his vocal style. I like that. I, I think he's he's just a really great. He's got some great range as well. He doesn't sing like scream all the way through this album, but he's got a really decent range for hard rock and metal. But like I said, the clarity in which he sings words are just, oh, you know, sometimes you get lost and you can't hear lyrics and songs, but he's definitely spot on with letting you hear exactly what he's singing about. I love that. Um, there's also some real interesting riffs in this and song structures. Sometimes when I'm, and I, I might mention a few, but when I'm hearing songs or listening to albums for review, I might hear a riff or a song or a part in it that sounds like another band, you know, and I found it really difficult to pinpoint influences on this. Um, I think there are but it was hard when you're hearing riffs. It sounds like they've, they've really sort of not invented riffs. You can't invent riffs because you always stumble across them as well. But there's some real interesting riffs that sort of surprise you throughout this album and song structures as well. And song to song, um, you get a lot of variety, which is very cool indeed. And that's what you want in a, in a world now, where in a music world. Sometimes you get an album that basically from the start, from the first song to the 12th song, it sounds like one long song. Do what as well, the guitar in is outstanding from Andy Seussmill on this album. He's just a great guitarist. I think he's done some stuff with Udo um, before as well. So, but what you, I'll tell you what, this sounds nothing like Except or Udo though. <laughs> this album, it's got its own thing. It definitely has. And also obviously the drumming and the bass are just fantastic on this album because they do really mix it up as well. And you'll find out when I, when I go on talking, like I said, talking about the tracks, that these guys are just really cool musicians. They just keep it really tight. Um, but it is a hard rock and metal album, like I said, with some real variety. So let's go through track by track. We'll start off with Utopia. Bit of a surprising track to start off with, um, but a great track nonetheless. So a bit of a progressive feel uh, for me. Not an overcomplicated sort of progressive song, but um, it just feels a little bit progressive. But it has some great melodies and it's really hooky throughout. It's basically a great modern um, progressive rock and metal tune. It's, but it's got a really cool chorus that grows and grows and grows. Some really intricate guitaring though. Like I said, the guitaring on this album is fantastic. Then we move on to um, Red Blooded Hellraiser. Now, this was really... <laughs> Because after the first song, because I didn't really know what to expect, I thought, right, we're going to get a slightly progressive sort of album here. Not on this song. Straight away, something completely different. This is fast-paced. Um, 
and it's got sort of a really chuggy sort of riff going on on this one it's like something out of the 80s but it's really more straightforward than the first song completely different it's a fun track with some great riffy guitar playing i love the solo again it just keeps breaking off off of a great little melody line then going back in it's just fantastic next up we have down to the core really like this one it's a medium paced song something completely different again more of a modern feel here with reese almost taking the verses in like a really deep sort of tone and a great chorus and this has a real dark tone overall so completely different again a great modern metal track next up we have civil war not the Guns N' Roses song. This song has an almost heavy, sludgy metal riff throughout the verses and some great frenetic guitar parts and a chorus that really sort of opens up. Um, it almost sounds like two different songs. So even within a song here, you get a lot of variety, but it does work. It really does. A few great odd time signatures dotted about, showing that little bit of progressive feel again and a brilliant twin lead part. I can't breathe is next. I mean, all these songs, these last three songs are really strong. Um, this is this is a great groove to this one again. Another sludgy riff coming in, so you get that medium pace sludge. Um, it changes to an almost fast chug in the verses, and then it sort of changes into a great modern melodic metal chorus with some really effective simple riffs. Really like this song again. Most of the time is next. This is a fast song. The speed really picks up here again. Parts of this song sound a little bit progressive there's some amazing guitar work here throughout again there's a really cool bit about two thirds of the way through where the tempo changes again slows down a little bit which carries on till the end of the track i love that part of the song next up is american dream i think this was a single um acoustic guitar and vocal to start and this is the first time we really get to take a breather from all the heavy rock and metal, really. Um, sort of a heavy ballad, reminds me a little bit of the, I don't know why, it reminds me a little bit of the last Night Ranger album. Now I haven't heard a lot of Night Ranger either, but it gave me them sort of vibes. A great solo as well. Before We Fade Away is next. Um, this is sort of a galloping riff kicks off and we get into a real riff heavy track here. I love the riff running through the verses as well and the fucking great solo. Again, the chorus takes a little time to sort of get you hooked, but it is a grower, this one. Next up is a, a bit of a highlight for me. It's called Hindsight is 2020. Reese sings in that lower range like he did before in that other track, um, but again, over a real sort of sludgy riff. But this really emphasizes his great vocal. When it goes from that deeper range and he hits the higher range, it just sounds brilliant. And it opens up for the bridge and chorus. He's, he's just great vocalist. Next up is Devil at My Doorstep. So, another great heavy riff to kick off and go into a slow to medium paced groove in the verses. That heavy riff from earlier sort of goes over the chorus. A great track indeed. Save Me is track 11, of course. Another great guitar riff. And, and there are, they're dotted about throughout this and you know it must be hard for bands not to sort of stumble upon too much of what's happened in the past in rock and metal because it happens all the time you know even if you don't mean it it just happens but we get a sort of a power metal feel for the first time maybe because of the little twin lead guitar melodies there's little parts that come in and out um and the chorus that sort of soars in that sort of power metal sort of vein there's a great riffy part halfway through leading into the solo Highway Child is next. I love the frenetic guitar work in the verses and it's a pretty cool chorus that is sung over some more simpler sort of hung out riffs. It's a medium to fast pace that song, it sort of changes tempo. Book of Lies is the last track on the album. This is the fastest track on the album actually with a kind of thrashy rhythm section in the verses. I like the chorus because it opens up into real sort of melodic track and that part of it. Just not too keen on the verses in here. I just think, um, they're really it's just me probably but i love the sort of when they slow it down a little bit um and the verses are, are really fast but it's an amazing solo <laughs> absolutely amazing to end the track as it plays the track out so a great album man and one that i sort of you know i didn't know a lot about um but 
it's definitely really worth a listen, guys. Really melodic, hooky, but sometimes a little bit progressive. Um, great vocals, brilliant guitar, and of course, a tight rhythm section. What more can you want? So, recommended again from me, David Reese, Utopia. See you next time.